Today we're going to take a look at working with documents that contain tagged elements within Fluency Now. Um, some documents that you work with will contain tables, images, or other advanced formatting um, that may cause your translation experience to be less than efficient. So what Fluency does is it allows you to um, replace some of that advanced formatting with a tag element, which you can see here. When we're working with documents that contain tags like this, we'll just need to keep in mind that any tag that you see in the source document will need to be present in the target document in order to save out correctly in the end. Today we'll just kind of step through and show you how to work with these tag elements and how to save them out when you're done. So I'm gonna to move to this first segment that we see a tag in. And what I would do if I'm translating this document is I would translate this segment as I usually would. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna use the machine translation button. And once that comes back, we'll have the translation here. And you'll see that the tag is actually already present. Um, that's good because we will, as I mentioned before, need that in the target document before saving out. If you're manually typing this translation out, you'll want to make sure that you insert that tag in the correct location before moving on to the next segment. There are a few ways that we can do this. The first one, as you can see, uh, right above the cursor, actually, is a CT button. If I hover over it, you'll see that that stands for copy tag. And there's actually a shortcut key, Control shift c on the Windows version, uh, Command-Shift-C on the Mac version. And if I click that button, it'll insert the next tag. Once I have inserted that tag, I will click the next button and move on to the next segment. Now, we'll take a look. There aren't very many tags in this document that we're looking at today, but we'll just kind of scroll through and, and take a look at those. Um, in this case, I'll show you um, adding this tag using the shortcut key. So I'm not gonna click the CT button this time but rather control shift C, and we'll see that it inserts that tag for me um, there as well. So once we're done, and I'm just gonna scroll through really quick and translate any segment that has tags in it, just to make sure they're all present when I save the document out. I think there's only a couple more here. And we're gonna leave the rest of the text blank just in this demonstration. And once we have completed all of the translations and we've inserted all tags into the target, we'll open the file menu and save out using the save as option as we normally would. Now, name your document. It will default to the original file type. However, you will have a couple of other options depending on your original file type. Um, typically, you'll be able to save it out to the original format or to a TM file. When I'm ready, I click Save, and then I can open that in its native program. When we scroll through the document, we'll be able to see any of those segments that contain tags will maintain the tagged properties um, as they're saved out. One thing to keep in mind is while you're saving the document out, if you receive notification of an error during the save, the first step to troubleshooting this is going to be uh, to scroll through your document and verify that you've copied all tags over to the target document before saving out. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. You can reach us at support at westernstandard.com.